Hey guys, in this video you're going to be checking out the Fly Tower F4 all-in-one flight controller and ESC combo. And this one is a actually a pretty neat package here. This is a Omnibus F4 flight controller. So it's got a F4 processor. This comes with a video transmitter on the same PCB. And it has an OSD, this is a Betaflight OSD. And it's got a uh, SD card for black box recording. So it's a, the best of all of all of these. And um, very minimal soldering and wiring. There's no wiring looms or cables that go from the flight controller to the ESC. There's a set of pins here on the bottom right there. And we'll go into the ESC right here. So it's going to make for extremely clean build and the only things you're going to need to solder are your motor wires and your battery connector, your XT60. Uh, the ESCs here are BL Heli S, they're 40 amps, bursting to 45 amps for up to 5 seconds. And yeah, this is a very, very nice little package. The video transmitter is also power switchable, uh, I believe 25, 200 and 400 milliwatts. Uh, you got a little micro FL connector here for your um, VTX antenna. And this is, it looks like it's an RP SMA connection here. And make sure you always have this connected before you power this on so you don't try your video transmitter. That would be quite bad because then you would lose the rest of your flight controller as well. Comes with uh, all the parts and accessories, of course. You got your screws and little spacers here. Uh, these are actually, actually pretty nice. Not your typical nylon standoffs and stuff. You got some metal anodized uh, screws and bolts and spacers. So, yeah, it's going to look pretty nice in your build. Got a little um, heat sink here for your video transmitter. So, we're going to peel that off and Stick it right on top of here to keep the thing nice and cool. On the board itself, you got your, obviously your USB port for connecting to the computer. And there's only three micro connectors. You got one on the bottom here, one down here, and one over here at the top. Uh, this one here goes to your camera. And they provide a set of little micro connector cables for your receiver, camera, and um, other accessories. Uh, obviously the one here on the front, up in front of the uh, video transmitter here, this is uh, goes to your camera and actually has a connector that will fit uh, most HS1177 Runcam Swift type cameras with a uh, three connection, the video, ground, and uh, um, power. The connection down here at the bottom is for your receiver and it, they provide uh, SBUS, PPM, uh, DSM-X, and there's a pin for 3.3 volts and a pin for 5 volts. So you just have to make sure you pick the appropriate one for your receiver. And then the one connector here on the bottom is probably one you're not, most people aren't going to use. Um, it's for your LEDs and your buzzer. You got a couple of buttons here on the side of the board. You got one over here. And this is your uh, uh, bootloader button if you, for in case you need to do flashing. So you would use this to... Um, Go into bootloader mode. And then the one over here on this side is for changing your bands and channels. And this is probably one of the downsides of this board is it uses these four little LEDs and different colors to uh, determine what channel and band you're on. And uh, I believe it's 40 channels. And I'll put a little chart up here from the manual that shows all the different color combinations to find your channel. So, this is kind of a difficult way to find the channels if you don't have them memorized or don't have that chart handy. Um, it makes changing channels kind of cumbersome unless you've got that chart with you. Anyway guys, just a quick look at the Flytower F4 all-in-one flight control ESC combo. I am actually going to be putting this in the um, XB X2 frame that I've been kind of, uh, haven't gotten really around to yet because I'm waiting for some other parts. This was one of the parts that I was waiting for and I have a couple other things that I want to do with that frame because I just really want to put some nice parts in that. So that build's going to be coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.